Hey guys, so today I said that I would make a tutorial for iView how to make an animated icon. So today we will be doing that. For those who do not understand the animated icon, it's the icon that moves. So let's get started. First thing you have to do is open up GIMP. And we will give it a second to load. Sorry for the barking in the background. There are dogs in my neighborhood barking, which is causing my dog to bark. Okay, sorry. Um, I was trying to get him to be quiet, but I guess he won't right now. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you want to do is go to file open as layers and open up your icon background only um, which I'll just do something like this I have a few and then what you want to do next is go back to your file open as layers find the picture that you want to do or the, the uh, clothing that you wanted to do I'll just go ahead and do this hoodie and this is just for an example so what you want to do next is shrink down your picture so that way it fits into the icon. Something about like that. Then you press scale. And then you want to click your move tool, move tool and move your picture where you want it. And right now all you want is to have your head like that. And then you want to go to file, save as. Go to your desktop, save it as 1.png, and then you want to scroll it up just a little bit, like that, and then you go to Files, Save As, now save that one as 2.png, and then you want to scroll up again, and then File, Save As, 3.png. And then you can scroll up just a bit more just to get the rest of the sweatshirt and save that one as four. And you definitely want to number them in order. Go ahead and with that one delete it. Go to file, open as layers, open your one. Go ahead and right click and click merge down. That way it merges with the background. Go back to file, open as layers, open number two, file, open as layers, open number three, file, open as layers, and open number four. Now what you want to do is go ahead and open your frame. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a frame. Go ahead and use that one. Now what you want to do is you want to duplicate it as many times as you have the icon. So I have four icons, but there's original, so I only need to duplicate it three times. And as you can see, there's an icon, or a, um, sorry, a frame behind each one. And then just merge all these down within the icon. Just like so. Now if you want to put your name you can. And you can choose any type of thing you want. Um that thing um font you want. Put it on the top. 
Sorry guys, I had to sneeze for a second. And then you can resize your name to how you want it. And you can place it anywhere. It doesn't matter where you place it. I didn't mean to do that. Alright. And then you can make it smaller or bigger. And what you want to do is duplicate that a few times as well. And then put one behind each. I'm going to go ahead and merge them down. Merge down and get that one. Merge down. And then that one. Merge down. Because that way you have it on each layer as you can see. When I hide these icons you can see that the ice wave and the frame are on each layer. Now what you want to do is you want to go behind each of these. Put a parenthesis sign. Depending how fast or slow you want to go, the slower is higher, faster is, uh, or slower is uh, under, and then faster is higher. So we're going to do 900 ms, which is actually a good speed, 900 or 800. Press enter. Press enter. You want to make sure you put it on all these icons. Uh, because if you don't, then your speed is going to be completely off and mess with your icon. Now what you want to do is go to Filters, Animation, Playback. And you want to press Play. And you can see that my icon is now moving. Now the most important thing what you want to do is when you save this, to wherever you save it, you want to save it as a GIF. A jot dot gif. If you do not save it, you will not get your animation. This will pop out. Make sure you click save as animation, export, crop, and then save. I'm not going to save this one because I already have it. So make sure you do that. Make sure you save it as a gif. That is very important. I will be making more tutorials soon. If you guys have a suggestion tutorial that you would like to learn, you can ask me to make you one and then I can make it um, most likely. Um, I am learning some more stuff about making clothing as you guys are as well. But I will definitely try to make any tutorial that you guys need to learn. Um, so just let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.